Hello everyone, it's me Alex or the Monkey Pickler here and today it is day four of the um, Yeah, day four of the uh, RSI ship sale Today we're a couple of smaller and then the largest manufacturer in Star Citizen We had Argo Aeronautics, MISC, and Crusader Industries um, Argo only has two ships for sale um, they're not too impressive. I don't see any reason to get the MPUV or um, <clears throat> SRV right now. I think they're just, there's no, I don't see a place for them right now. Maybe later. Um, but the big, um, the real, the big seller of the day is MISC. MISC has, I think, the most flyable ships right now. They had the limited time offer upgrade to the Miss Prospector, so it will get you 10 year insurance if you don't have it. You can turn your any ship under the Miss Prospector into a LTI token. Um, so some of the ships that I would recommend are the Freelancer Max, I think is the best of the Freelancer variants. Maybe the Miss, because um, it's more combat wise, but the Max, um, it just carries the most cargo. However, I would take a Constellation Taurus over it if they ever fix the constellations and get it implemented. Um, they're the Reliance. I really like the Reliance as a concept, but as the ship, they just don't pan out very well. They're quite expensive. They don't hold much cargo. There's no, like, interior, really. So I think they're okay starter ships. Just, I don't know. If they were bigger, they'd be more my cup of tea. And then the Starfarers. The Starfarers are the loaners for a lot of ships. When they bring in fuel gameplay, I think it'll they'll be much more useful, as most of their um, cargo space is taken up by the fuel tanks. So, this was the biggest and the first real large ship in the game. It's still got a very large interior. You can still get lost in it. Um, I do like the interior of the ship. I think it's a good concept. However, it's very sluggish. It's a brick. You are a flying brick. Um, you can't really do missions in it. You can try, but any combat is just a no-go with this thing. However, if you want to do hauling or fuel gameplay in the future, check it out. And then where MISC really is at is in its future flyable with the Hull series. The Hull C, highly recommended ship. It has for it has the highest uh, cargo count for the lowest price. The Hull E is super expensive and sold out. I, I don't understand this ship. I don't think it's will ever be very usable um, because they're just too high risk with that ship and then the best deal here is by far the misc endeavor it is a huge ship and it has a lot of modularity um, it is a big ship it's 350 it's capital size it's 200 meters long for 350 dollars it's huge it is a capital size ship for a the Valkyrie costs that much. It's quite ridiculous. So it's going to go up in price. When it goes into pr production, I, I think it'll go up $200, maybe more. That is an investment of a ship. Misc Endeavor, get it. For the Misc Endeavor, the pods I would get would probably be the, the crew, the landing pad, the medical bay, and whatever else. I would personally get the Misc Endeavor because I want to have like a ship with them landing bay that can just do a lot so i would and i like crew i like the novelty of crew quarters so i would probably get that however you could get the super collider pod or the biodome pod the biodome pods will probably be very efficient in the future because you can like farm with them and they have this telescope array the science i think science pods would be good um the uh landing bay pod for some reason it's got the wrong thing there the medical bay and the fuel pod, the biodome pod would be pretty good for that with the crew equipment. So, for chairman owners, you can buy the MISC Master Set. It is super expensive, it's a thousand dollars, includes everything LTI, um, the industrial hangar, all your pods, I think multiple of each pod. <coughs> yeah, two landing, two medical bays, two super colliders. So, if you're gonna, that, that is a massive pack, I wouldn't personally buy that, but if you want it, go for it. Up next is Crusader. Crusader have the Genesis Starline, which 
I am very intrigued by because it's like a pl- it's like a it's like the the plane of Star Citizen. I think in the lore it's supposed to pretty much be like the ferry between planets. I really like the Genesis. I want to get it when it comes out. However, it's not coming out for a long time. So then there is the A2 Hercules, super overpriced. It's like an AC130, but seven hundred dollars and just like no way for that. The C2 also again recommended. It's, I think, it's pretty much just a better Starfarer, if you look at it, for like a little bit more. Look at that. I think it has more cargo than the M2, or maybe the M2 has a little more, but either one. These two are um, recommended in the Mercury Star Runner. I am very intrigued by this. I bought the, um, what do you call it, pack? The Exploration Pack that comes with a Terrapin, which is $220, so I think I'm going to buy the $5 upgrade to the Star Runner because I really hate the Terrapin. I think it's a useless ship right now. Anyway, that's just my quick um, hot take on the Misk Argo and Crusader sale. Ne- up next is Appawa. I think, <coughs> yeah, tomorrow will be the Aliens ships, so I think Appawa... Banu and Asperia. So the Merchantman will be on sale. We'll see if it goes up in price or not. The Prowler will be on sale. The Blade, the Glaive. All the expensive ships are going to be on sale tomorrow. <laughs> alien ships are expensive. Except for the, the Merchantman, which is nice because it's a nice capital sized ship almost. And then the 29th will be Aegis, then Drake, then Origin last. So if you want to pick up your 890 jump like I am, number first. Mark your calendar, Saturday. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. I hope to see you all next time. It's Meowth the Monkey Pickler here, and I am out of here. Have a good sale.